Well, I got myself a 3D printer and I'm really enjoying it. My kids love it as well. So we got tons of toys we're printing on it. It's pretty spectacular. The one thing that blows my mind is I didn't know I could make prints like this. Uh, this is actually a design I made and then I turned it into a 3D printed object using Hue Forge and it's pretty sweet. So this is a design I made. I also made, that was Deadpool and this is a Star Wars Darth Vader. And as you can see, you know, it's, it's a hard material. My kids are displaying these all over their rooms and they love them. Uh, and not to mention, you know, you could search the internet and find other ones like this. This is uh, Winnie the Pooh. My one son loves him and you can see how amazing it is. And you can tell, it's hard to see probably on the video, but this is textured different filaments that are layered on top of each other. So pretty impressed that my printer can do that. And this is an Iron Man here that I got. So I created the two that I showed you first. I'll show you how to get that and I'll show you my printer and how to do the whole process. So this is the actual Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. As you can tell, this is the main chassis right below where the printing happens. And you can see that little box there that has the print head in the bottom. Above the whole unit is an EMS system, which is an automatic material system, which lets us switch between colors, which is pretty sweet that you can change in the middle of the print. And when you do change, it does shoot out a little bit of the uh, filament in the back. So I was able to print that white and black container uh, using a, a print online, which is awesome. So put that in and then looking on the inside of it you'll see that this is a high temperature PEI plate here that uh, we have I think this came with the unit but you can buy more if you need to otherwise you essentially print on it some people tell you to use glue stick but essentially this one doesn't really need it if you're printing with a material called PLA but uh, right now my family as you can see I don't know if you can tell in the video there's filaments everywhere so my kids want certain colors my wife wants new colors that she sees and so we're been we've been buying a lot of filament recently it's getting a little crazy and as you'll see here this is a print that I did for my wife and as a simple tip for you make sure to make your family and friends a bunch of prints and essentially they might start to like it and then it won't be that big of a deal because that investment in a 3d printer does add up there are some models that are reasonably priced but uh you know either way everything costs money including the materials and the parts to keep it up and working and uh, also there's a lot of time spent uh, working on it and on top of that you just saw us print a subscribe button and this is an actual wallet that pops up your credit cards that my kids love this here is an example of what I love about this Bamboo Labs printer is that you can actually print your own spool so you can purchase cheaper filaments online that are refill packs and just put them on the spool that you print yourself. So it's pretty amazing that you can create a, a tool that you need with the machine from the machine itself. And then that leads me to my design. So I made some designs and then I started utilizing a special tool called HueForge to convert them into printable images. And this is what I came up with. You'll notice a bunch of images that were created. I'm going to be able to share them with you and I'll put the link in the description so you can download them yourself and you can go check them out yourself. Those are actually able to be gotten and downloaded and you can just use them if you'd like if you have your own 3D printer. So this here is just me grabbing the print, which is awesome, right off the build plate. If you notice, there's something called a prime tower on the top that you don't need. I removed that from the file that I placed online. But essentially, I also printed my own stand right there, which I can link to from another uh, person that had created that, which is awesome. And you could put your little items on display. My kids put them all over their room, on their desk, or let's say even on a ledge or on a window sill or location, and it looks pretty sweet. So. That's essentially what you can expect from the quality and pretty happy with it and pretty impressed that something like that can make essentially art and actually can mix different colors together. I hope this video helps. I'm probably going to make a lot more videos with content on what I'm printing and what you can get. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications and we'll see you next time.